Good evening and happy uh, new Ethiopian year. That's 2014 according to Ethiopia's unique calendar system. And our stories will focus on this new year in this edition of our Disney News Hour. With it, I'm Shifara Olako and do stay with us. President Sala Orgazodi has extended her New Year message. The president said Ethiopia survived the Treacherous Nation Integration Acts of traitors thanks to the heroic sacrifices of her beloved children. The president also forwarded a measure of thanks to those who have directly or indirectly involved in operations to saving nation and maintaining its sovereignty over the year. The year 2013 was a time of tough challenges to Ethiopia, she said. Salork attached great value to all citizens who supported the National Defense Force and asked Ethiopians to play roles to bring about lasting peace this new year. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has also extended best wishes to all Ethiopians on the occasion of the new year that started today. Ethiopians celebrated this new year amidst turbulence and hope of a brighter future, the Premier said. It's a new phenomenon to Ethiopia to observe New Year's in such circumstances, he said. The Premier stressed that the whole world knows that Ethiopians do not surrender to predicament they are in a good position to turn this into an opportunity that will place Ethiopia among the countries remembered by the world for doing so. Those entities antagonizing Ethiopia are the ones that do not know the people of the nation. They don't understand the way Ethiopia has preserved its freedom. Ethiopia has been thriving, defending all that came against her sovereignty, Abe noted. The Premier also said, quote-unquote, I believe the new year becomes the time Ethiopia overcomes the challenges that it encountered for 30 years. Ethiopians ensure prosperity, enjoy democratic values and fruits of the ongoing reforms and multinational unity. The Prime Minister and Commander-in-Chief of the National Defense Force of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, has lauded the gallantry of Ethiopian army for the pride it brought to Ethiopians and the ignominy to the enemy. He has celebrated the New Year with the army in my Sabri front. Jerusalem Batsia has more on that. Ethiopians across the nation and abroad are marking the first day of their New Year today or in Kutatash in Amharic language. However, the Ethiopian National Defense Force, the regional special force militias, have been fighting the TPLF terrorist group to ensure the country's peace and security. And Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, together with Ethiopian National Defense Force Chief of Staff General Brahanu Jula and Deputy Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Abibot Adesa and others, headed to the Maizabri Front. Marking the new year with the army, Abi expressed gratitude to the heroic deeds of the National Army. Yemerabiz, Jagnau, Ahad, Officer Ochinabalat Bamulu. Military officers and members of the Western Command, passing the challenges over the previous year, Ethiopia has begun its new year 2014 with hope because of your heroism and unwavering commitment paid for Ethiopia. Merabiz. The Western Command has been contributing a lot to destroy the TPLF cliques, including your recent heroic deeds in this front. Your gallantry has brought pride to Ethiopians and ignominy to the enemy. That's why I would like to say congratulations and came here to celebrate the new year with you. Your pioneering deed has unique and special meaning. Commander-in-Chief of the National Defense Force, Abiy lauded, this operation has created an opportunity to build well-equipped modern military base. 
The heroic deeds of the army are testimonies that Ethiopians have the capacity to defeat poverty as well. Ethiopian, how can I answer that? Jagnin natwa, ya agar wadad his boch maakal mohonwa, betarara. We cannot easily and wholly comprehend Ethiopia because the nation is wisdom rich. Ethiopia is rich in its patriotic citizens. Ethiopia has also ample potential for development. When we see your recent heroic deeds around this area through facing the complicated landscape, I definitely assure you that you and all Ethiopians could defeat poverty and bring prosperity for the country. However, we have learned a lot from this law enforcement operation. It has created an opportunity for us to build a well-equipped and modern military base in our country. I would like to announce you that Ethiopia has been preparing for peace and prosperity. But if there is anyone who has an interest to interfere with our sovereignty, we Ethiopians will be showing our forefathers' heroic deeds and pass our independent nation to generations to come. Accordingly, taking the great support of the people as huge inspiration, Ethiopian National Defense Force members have expressed their readiness to complete eliminate in the near where the country's enemies, not only TPLF. Ethiopian uh, religious fathers have called on the public to maintain solidarity and strengthen unity in a bid to pave way for national prosperity this new year. They advise everyone to work hard with a new plan by considering it as a golden opportunity for change. And Kasam Chane has compiled their uh, message as follows. <laughs> Wish you all Ethiopians a happy new year. When the new year comes, I wish you rehabilitation and it would be great to accept bright hope. And our peace and stability condition would be ensured only with hard work. Brothers, sisters, the Muslims and Christians living at home and abroad wish you a happy 2014 Ethiopian New Year. In the last previous years, we've done bad and good things. So taking only the good things and whereas removing the bad things is very important. Strengthening our unity, keeping our peace, sustaining our development and striving to respect each other. I call upon all Ethiopians to stand in unison. <laughs> First of all, I wish a happy new year for all the faithful and the people of our country. Glory to God, so having him, let us enjoy new year through the light of hope and wish Ethiopians to keep God's will by doing righteous deeds. Those Ethiopians who are living in both at home and abroad wish you a happy new year. The last year has witnessed both good and bad which the people can learn from and extend mutual support and kindness upon the new year. To gather us should be given priority. Glory to the Almighty God for transcending you all from 2013 to 2014 Ethiopian New Year. As we live in the will of God through His forgiveness, there is a mass to forgive each other in the New Year. I wish you the spirit of peace and prosperity in the New Year. I wish eradication of evil doings and I hope that we will stand together in true love and caring each other. 
We are in the eve to transcend from 2013 to 2014 New Year. Wish you all a happy New Year. In our country, to establish peace, create a condition where we respect each other, we should remove our spirit of hate or angriness and strive for the solutions to our problems. የሀገራችን ህዝቦች እግዚአብሔር በሰላም እና በጤና ተብቆ እንኳን ለ2014 አመተ ምህረት All the people of our country glory to God keeping you in peace and transcend from 2013 to 2014 Ethiopian New Year and we wish you all Ethiopians to have a year of peace and health and Ethiopians should continue to pray more than ever for our country's recent situation Now moving on, diplomatic figures based in Addis Ababa have extended their best wishes to Ethiopians on the occasion of the country's new year. Ethiopians are steadfast to overcome challenges experienced over the outgoing year, they said. The ambassadors also wished peace and prosperity to every Ethiopian. Daniel Kassan has compiled their views as follows. Ethiopian Bagzali, Happy New Year. We love you so much because you're very unique. That is your calendar. It's an African calendar. We don't go with a British calendar. We have our own calendar, which is an Ethiopian calendar. And you'll be celebrating your New Year. And we in Kenya, together with Ethiopians in Kenya, we are also going to celebrate New Year of Ethiopia in Kenya. So I just want to wish my brother, the Prime Minister of this country, whom I love very much, the president of this country that I love very much, the people of this country that I love very much, Happy New Year uh, for the good things and we're looking forward to a very prosperous New Year. China will play a positive role in Ethiopia's march to prosperity, stability and development. In the coming Ethiopia New Year, let me take this opportunity to extend festival greetings May Ethiopia enjoy lasting peace and prosperity, its people happiness and tranquility. May China Ethiopia friendship be everlasting. Welcome, Addis Ahmed. Uh, I want, on behalf of uh, all Indian nationals who are here in Ethiopia, I want to wish all my sisters and brothers a very happy New Year. They celebrate all Ethiopian festivals, including um, your Ethiopian New Year and Meskel. I also want to wish my uh, Indian nationals a very happy Ethiopian New Year. On the occasion of Ethiopian New Year, I'd like to extend my warmest greetings to you all. China and Africa are good friends, good partners, and good brothers with the shared destiny and vision. We have very close cooperation in all fields. Since the outbreak of the COVID-19, we have consolidated the friendship and mutual trust through overcoming the difficulties. Of course, uh, the year of 2013 was not easy for Ethiopia and its people. Uh, uh, the country and its people had to pass through many, let me say, exams, political, economic, humanitarian, military. Uh, this, uh, this was a really very difficult year. But uh, the Ethiopians, the country as a whole, managed to overcome these difficulties. The year to come. I wanted to, to, to also to, to wish the Ethiopian the best, not only on my behalf, on behalf of the embassy, but on, the, on behalf of the Cuban people and government, who are truly friends of Ethiopia, who are very much 
interest in Ethiopia's well-being and very much confidence that Ethiopia will overcome the challenges that Ethiopia has ahead. So um, running the risk of not saying well in Amharic, Mel Melkan uh, Adisabet to Ethiopian people and Amesekenalo to all of them. I would like to help uh, all my Ethiopian friends, my dear friends, uh, first of all, peace, prosperity, love, and uh, wealth in their homes. And uh, I wish them to successfully overcome any um, other uh, exams which may occur on their way. Uh, I love them and uh, therefore my heart is always with my friends. I would like to express my best wishes for the Ethiopian New Year's that will be celebrated in the 11th uh, September 2021. I express my wishes that the New Year be for our two friendly people, that of more peace, security and prosperity. I believe with our concerted effort, China, Africa cooperation and friendship will have a bright future and benefit more people in China and Africa. Once again, Happy New Year! watching at this news hour. The prominent reggae musician Zaleka Gassasa calls upon Ethiopians to fortify national unity more than ever before. Talking to ETV English, Zaleka said he is doing his level best to use music for social harmony. Alula Teklamara reports. Beautiful people to me on the street everywhere we grow in so much history Documents show that Ethiopia remains at the heart of many reggae enthusiasts around the world as it features in several songs by legendary Jamaican artist Bob Marley, the genre's biggest star. Many Ethiopian artists joined the reggae music style, of which the Legagasasa is an artist whose contribution to Ethiopian reggae is more than simply beautiful rhythms. The singer has been instrumental in two large showcases that celebrate reggae music in Ethiopia. Reggae music has a special acclaim in Zeleka's life. Um, it is different because it's the newest form of music, number one. Number two, um, it, it relates to everyday life of every human being in this planet. So that makes it different because it speaks reality. In an exclusive interview with ETV, Zeleka said he is doing his level best to use the music art for a social harmony. Uh, at this time too, we need their participation in trying to decrease the pressure of the Western governments on Ethiopia. Because uh, as we are the symbol of freedom, yeah. we'll continue shining yeah. and then we'll be the symbol of economic freedom. We are working on some collaboration idea for African unity, uh, for, to bring Africans together. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, there is, in fact, uh, for the uh, Renaissance Dam, uh, where I'm selected to be the PR and international uh, relations uh, department yeah. for the new private sector committee. Yeah. Um, and uh, on that one, we're thinking, well, uh, you're taking the press conference of, okay. <laughs> before we do it officially. Wow. But uh, we're working with some African and Jamaican artists to do 
a collaboration in regards to the Renaissance Dam. Yeah, because it's an African dam. It's yeah. the largest African dam. Yeah. So it, um, it belongs to Africa. Zellega shares his New Year experience in different international stages while living in the U.S. America and Jamaica. Yes, uh, New Year is interesting. It's not religious, so yeah. all Ethiopians yeah. celebrate it. Um, in Chicago, where I lived for 30 years, uh, I used to perform for the Ethiopian community. Um, not all every year, but once every four or five years, yeah. because I travel around the U.S. for, for New Year's. So Los Angeles, uh, California, yeah. the Washington, D.C., Minnesota, everywhere we get, we've been called. Yeah. But my, my biggest one is Chicago Community Association, okay. where, we, where I was one of the founders of that association. It's about 30 years old, yeah. and um, it's done a lot of things. So on those days, um, everybody comes out because in, in the States, uh, the professionals like the professors and doctors and the bankers, uh, they don't really come out to the restaurants and everything like we do, you know, but they come out for holiday with their family. So at the holidays, even they come from Michigan, uh, the surrounding states, Michigan, Indiana, Minneapolis uh, and uh, Missouri. So we get a big crowd for New Year's. Uh, September 11 and uh, yeah. uh, those are my experiences where I meet uh, a lot of Ethiopians because we don't meet there you know life is so hectic yeah. you yeah. you you run around you know living school work and yeah. so the best part is um, uh, of New Year for me is to meet all the Ethiopian you, expatriates you, 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 here the whole vibe you know the spirit yeah. uh, of the population uh, is amazing you know yeah. um, uh, everybody wants uh, to have a hope, yeah. you know, from the poorest to the richest. Yeah. Uh, and that, that you see that, you know. Uh, over there, uh, because it's our culture and it's uniquely timed uh, September 11, because it's not January like the Europeans yeah. or the Americans. Seasonal. Yeah, seasonal. So that, um, because of that, uh, it's different there and it's limited to one day. Here we have Pagume too. We just started, you know, today. Yeah. So it's a, it's a week-long celebration. Yeah. Um, and the spirit, the spirit of the people, man, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing, you know. Meanwhile, the Lega is optimistic on his country's socioeconomic development and expressed his plan to open a convention center that will help transform the music industry. Well, we're planning to open a place uh, pretty soon. Uh, it's a big one. It's the first in Africa. Uh, it will be a convention center, yeah. which have a meeting hall, a traditional place, a nightclub, yeah. uh, a hotel, and the back of it is a music school. That's my legacy for Ethiopia. Um, we only have one more process to get the land. It's, it's a big place. First one in Africa. It integrated, yes, yes, it's a big one. For me, the legacy is the music school, because very young people, the music business is low in Ethiopia because it didn't develop. A lot of artists have talent, but they don't know the business part. So we're going to lecture them. The once business part? The business part and music. Oh no, music yeah. too, yeah. yeah. I want to train new, new bands yeah. and then call the international companies and showcase them. I did that in Chicago. Yeah. So we'll take the Ethiopian music to the international market. Now Ethiopian expats overseas celebrate Ethiopian holidays in different ways than they do it at home. Most of them celebrate national and public holidays on the same day as Ethiopians at home, while some mark Ethiopian holiday out of calendar. Some of Ethiopian diaspora approached by ETV English said they observe Ethiopian New Year with other compatriots. Habtam Shagri has compiled the following story.
we really have a lot of stuff. I mean, you have the new coming. We uh, we work in the, we building a gird, the you know the the up uh, the Nile River, and then we have you know f fight for our you know freedom. I mean, this is a freedom fight. I mean, and then uh, it's a lot of things going on right now. So and abroad, I mean, it's really hard. Uh, you know, when you stay, when you really, you know, away from your country, and it, you know, you have some kind of, uh, you know, feelings. But uh, you know, it's a new year, it's a new year. Uh, with all this problem, we still, you know, celebrate together. And um, our, you know, wishes to Ethiopians, you know, the, the new year. I mean, you know, happy new year. And in this, you know, new years will be a successful years and. Uh, uh, we want, uh, you know, we want to take this opportunity to be united, and you know, not to divide it. So in this coming up years, you know, it's a hope for our country, and hopefully, you know, the new year uh, will, you know, will teach us a new lesson to work as together as Ethiopians, not you know, to divide it. So and, you know, happy new year. I am a, a business owner in Oslo, Norway. I usually uh, celebrate uh, Ethiopian New Year with all my customers. So who are my customers? They are Ethiopians, Eritreans, Somalians, Nigerians, uh, Brazilians, Caribbean uh, in general, and uh, we have international customers. Ethiopia is a very historical country in the world. We have our uh, calendar, we have uh, the New Year is different because of the, the calendar of Ethiopia. And uh, Ethiopia has never been colonized by any European. Unfortunately, the British, they tried, they, they didn't. And the Italian, they tried, but they couldn't. So we proud all of this. And so, you know, the Ethiopian, the, the Ethiopian calendar is different from the Gregorian calendar. So the New Year's time, we don't have any chance to celebrate it together on the same day because uh, they, they don't know the other countries about the Ethiopian New Year's. But we celebrate in the next day, sometimes on Sunday or Saturday, because that is slow work. So the Ethiopian, the big Ethiopian community all over the world, so we're celebrating together the New Year and we, 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 we will tell it to other local communities too. For me, that is my way of being uh, uh, an ambassador for my uh, Ethiopian, just to be an ambassador for my country is like by celebrating not alone, but I'm celebrating Ethiopian New Year usually with my uh, shop uh, customers. So every year for the last uh, eight years, that's what we have done. Now, as a New Year vibe gets heated, uh, new hopes and aspirations fill the air from all corners. A beacon of a strong Ethiopian and Ethiopian nationalism, the Ras Tafarian community has always been voicing its support for the unity of this nation. And in the following piece by our staff reporter, Abel Hailes Lasse, we'll take a look at New Year celebration by the Ras Tafarian community in Shashamani, the Ethiopian home base of this vibrant um, community located 300 kilometers from Addis Alba. Take a look. So we will use the music to tell the truth. Stand up for Ethiopia, water must run free. Stand up, let's live in perfect love and unity. You know, we all brothers and sisters. We should love each other. That's the common mode of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. <laughs> All of Ethiopia, Malcolm had decided. Happy Ethiopia 2014, and I wish Ethiopia with big trust and prosperity. Big respect goes on for Ethiopia TV. One love to Ethiopia, you know? one love to all Africa. Stand up for Ethiopia, fight propaganda. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, God bless us all. Rastafari.
Now, moving on, Ethiopia's calendar varies from that of the world as the country has 13 months in a year, with the last month, that's Pagume, having five or six days in a leap year. This has made Ethiopia celebrate its New Year and other holidays differently from that of the rest of the globe. What is the reason behind this Ethiopia's unique yearbook? Well, Jerusalem Bethesda's story has the answer. <laughs> Anyone who spent September 11 in Ethiopia enjoys another chance to celebrate New Year and feels eight years younger because the country's New Year falls that day and lags eight years behind the Gregorian calendar. <laughs> Ethiopia could be an example for the rest of the world. People of many, many different faiths, and yet... Ethiopia, known as the cradle of mankind, as a result of Lucy's discovery, is endowed with a number of historical and natural heritage. These heritage put the country at the top among African countries that have their heritage registered under UNESCO. Another historical patrimony that makes the country unique is having its own unique calendar, which makes it the only in Africa. Talking to ETV English head of foreign relations at Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church, Abu Naragawi stated, the source of Ethiopian calendar is a holy script, physical and cosmological world. Um, the foundation of the Ethiopian calendar is a holy scripture and the primacy source of uh, our calendar is a physical world and cosmological world, which has calculated by the cyclical or lunar cycle, which is the uh, uh, sun and the moon, which has uh, rotated uh, with their own axis and uh, in evolution. Uh, therefore, um, According to our calendar, which has deprooted with the uh, Jew calendar and uh, somehow uh, related with the Coptic uh, calendar. He added the Ethiopian calendar is also highly interrelated with nature, so amplifying the uniqueness of the month September. September is a unique um, month for Ethiopians. All mountains and fields and uh, uh, even as a part of uh, our country, uh, which was covered by um, the yellow uh, flower, which is Ade Ababa. That is a unique color of Ethiopians. That's why the Ethiopians always choosing the color of yellow. That is uh, the symbol of uh, uh, purity, the symbol of uh, hope. Abu Naragawi explains about the difference between Ethiopian and Western countries' yearbook that is also reflected in variation of holidays. After, uh, uh, because of the uh, Dionysius, one of the astronomers, who tried to reshaping and uh, revised uh, and added uh, seven or eight years, uh, that's why the difference between um, seven or eight years between Ethiopian calendar and the Gregorian calendar. After that, um, 1582 uh, AD, um, Gregory, the 13th of Gregory of uh, Rome, he was Pope, uh, he also revised and calculated uh, and added 11 days uh, before the previous um, classical uh, Julian calendar. Related to this difference, the scholar also highlighted why Ethiopia has 13 months. Uh, according to our calendar, uh, we have 365 days uh, in a year and also plus we have five or six days uh, in addition. So Pagme, which means additional days. Um, every month has 
equal uh, numbers. That means 30, 30 is equal without any uh, distinguishing between uh, months. Therefore, uh, in our calendar system, I think it's very unique, very special, and which has related with the nature, as I have said. This indicates how uh, Ethiopians have their own calendar numerical system and uh, alphabets and so on. This is the richness of uh, the Ethiopians uh, in Africa. Uh, therefore, calendar is one of our um, treasure. Uh, this is a treasure of all Ethiopians. Preserving this uniquely Ethiopian gift is given a priority by stakeholders through teaching the calculus for the coming generation. The church is still keeping such wonderful and grateful um, calendar. Um, we have a traditional school, of course, uh, still active uh, to hand down from generation to generation. Some of monasteries and uh, traditional schools also uh, teaching such grateful uh, counting system, of course. This is a part of uh, Abu Shahar, which means uh, calendar system or the counting system the, or the numerical system. Uh, we have deep uh, also intellectual abilities about uh, cosmological, uh, you know, um, education in our, in our church. However, the scholar puts his recommendation to the government to incorporate the calculus of Ethiopian calendar on Ethiopia's educational curriculum. Ethiopia celebrates the coming of 2014 on September 11 per its own yearbook. <laughs>Now, the Addis Ababa Exhibition Center is the popular venue for New Year Bazaar and Exhibition. The center has brought together buyers and sellers in a vibrant New Year market for the first time since the coronavirus hit the country. And traders and consumers approached by our staff reporter, uh, Goshu Melissa, have expressed delight over what has been displayed at the market. Take a look. After two years of closure due to the coronavirus, the Addis Ababa Exhibition Center opened bringing together buyers and sellers in a vibrant New Year Eve market. Traders exhibited quality products that would add color to the new 2014 Ethiopian year, though consumers are hardly hit by the soaring price of goods. Uh, I am a master, 10 years I live in here. I have carbon. Before export, the, for corona coming, uh, small. Now small business. This New Year's, all Ethiopia, all Turkey, friendship. Uh, I respect for Ahmed Abi. I love uh, African door Ethiopia. I have uh, big customers in Ethiopia. Why? Uh, for me, price, cheap price, Derzan price. I give Derzan price for Ethiopia. Why I live? I love now all world in Europe, in German, in England. It's all uh, Corona coming is small, not order. Before this big order, now certain, three zero percent now orders. Uh, maybe two months after, high. Inshallah, uh, I love Ethiopia. I love in Turkey, in friendship. Welcome at the summit. Thank you, Amosakranlan. Mohammed Salman comes from India. He has brought kitchen utensils. His product seems to be best kitchen solutions, particularly for Ethiopian women. My product name for the vegetable cutter. So purchases is very good. And Ethiopia is also good for this one. I am before uh, seven years for I am selling for the product for my and very nice. But I am complete set selling for 1,100. Women's in the customer we come for my shop and he's buying and good uh, for the 
making for vegetable and she come and he talked to me ke it's very your product is very nice and good for the material good for the blades and long time working it's very nice one. as the new year approaches ethiopians decorate their homes buy new clothes many make plans and promise to change their mind to welcome the new year in a new spirit and hope yeah tell her you are the sofa we have brought various sofa designs and garments. We came up with new brands which we believe can please buyers. Based on the comments we have been receiving from our customers, we try to bring quality products to satisfy their needs. I have bought a quality product with a fair price. I'm happy. Traditional clothes and household goods have special places in the new year. As you can see, the demand of traditional clothes is increasing from time to time, and the design is being modernized. Customers are highly interested in these traditional attires. The Telebu Pank system, which has been recently introduced, is making the process a lot easier. As to organizers, over 500 traders are being participated in the New Year trade show. Over 500 traders are participating in the 2014 Ethiopian New Year Bazaar, of which 30 of them are foreign traders from Turkey, India, and Nigeria, among others. The rest are local producers and wholesalers. We hope that close to 500,000 buyers and sellers will visit us. In the new year, Ethiopians exchange best wishes with their beloved ones and present gifts to one another. The Addis Ababa Exhibition Center, which is used to be crowded by sellers and customers, is not as vibrant as the previous. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the soaring inflation and the situation in the country, And finally, Ethiopia is preparing for the official formation of new government based on results of the June elections. While forming the new government come October 4, 2021, Ethiopia must include all dissenting voices that's according to scholars approached by ATV. Habtama Shagri reports. <laughs> This speech was made by a speaker of the parliament while talking to journalists about the new cabinet to be formed in the Prosperity Party-dominated government. A wide range of reform activities have been undertaken to enhance House's capacity in becoming a strong representative of the public and addressing challenges in all sectors. This is a strong optimism that Ethiopia is in a position to overcome the challenges it is facing and achieve its development goals through public participation. Talking to TV English, Alamayo Areda, who is a well-known economist, said the new government needs to take any consideration to balance the ongoing ups and downs, particularly the galloping inflation, economic sabotage and instability. According to Alemaya, the Prosperity Party also needs to take lessons from the pitfalls of the former Iparidef's ideological boundaries. The Prosperity Party is not ideologically parked. If you take the, P the EPDRF, it was parked in the ideology of revolutionary democracy. And if, has, if, if EPDRF has to include anybody from the opposition, that guy or that person has to be or has to accept the philosophy and understanding of revolutionary democracy. The Prosperity Party has already, has already lifted that barrier. 
It is a centrist pragmatic party, meaning a party that could accept ideas and perspectives that could come from different areas. The new government needs to create a favorable political climate to include diverse views by all political actors. At a lower level, he has already taken on board Professor Brano Naga as a board of Addis Ababa University, Marara Gudina as a board of television, Brianna Petros Professor as a deputy uh, director of the Policy Institute, uh, uh, Aragawi Berhe as uh, a director of the uh, GERD. Now the next step in the next government, probably, probably what the Prime Minister does is he may include in his cabinet some of the opposition party members. And as long as they are competent, professionally competent, and as long as they can bring in some experience and knowledge into the governance of the new government, that, that's a very nice step. Ethiopia should celebrate about this. It is to be recalled that Prime Minister Abiy pledged to establish a more inclusive government whereby the opposition will get fair share of representation based on the results of the June elections. This is in spite of the fact that Ethiopia adheres to the first past the post system of electoral management. But including the opposition as such in the new cabinet seems a new venture. The parties, according to the Premier, may even be assigned ministerial or other senior government party for those. Two things. One, if these guys are going to come on board, it means they are agreeing to work under the policy package of the Prosperity Party. The, the policy package of the Prosperity Party has already been done. If they have to bring their agenda, they will, they will not be rebuffed. As I told you, it's just an idea. They will present their idea if they can convince that it is beneficial to the society. I told you the centrist and pragmatic party, prosperity party, is going to accept that. That, that is a barrier the prosperity party has already jumped up. Work well, Jacob, who is geopolitical analyst for his passat, the newly organized government in Ethiopia needs to take all workable and divergent ideas into consideration. Ethiopia's government is as the constitutional uh, has a mandate to safeguard the, 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 the safety of its citizens. It should continue uh, the effort that it has, it, it has been doing. The first and most important priority in Ethiopia is peace. People need to move about in their country, live and work, okay? We are sick and tired of hearing people dying in every corner of the country. The money we are paying now for every other commodity is hiking up, skyrocketing. This has to be somehow reduced. Currently, there are thousands of uh, probably educated who have got degrees who are living with their parents. No food, no housing, no quality education, no quality health. This is terrible. So this government has to address that. The other thing is, there are, uh, there are political, political issues which should be solved through an extended dialogue. This dialogue has to be a national dialogue in which we have to have some kind of change within our constitution, existing constitution because this was a demand placed by most uh, opposition parties, and it has to be accepted. On the appointed date early October, the Parliament and the House of Federation will hold a joint session, thus heralding the formation of the new government. If we go by past experiences, the Prime Minister will announce members of his new cabinet on the following day. Finally, a quick reminder of the top stories. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed marks New Year with the Army in Battlefront. And President Salah Orgzodi urges Ethiopians to play roles in bringing peace this New Year. And with that we come to the end of this news edition. Many thanks for watching us. Bye-bye.